good evening to one and all. A very good evening to all that are gathered here to meditate on the God's Word. In the worldly context, if you look at the word priority, it can be defined as an action towards which one categorizes their importance in their life. Each one has different needs, each one has different priorities in their life. But when we look at the context of priority in Bible, we can look at the chapter Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 22, if you could turn that in your Bible. We look at a young rich man who is coming up to Christ to ask him a question. This is a young rich man who is running towards Christ, saying, good teacher, good teacher, what am I supposed to do to inherit eternal life? He's wanting to know what he should do to obtain, to inherit eternal life. In this context, if you look at it, you're looking at five qualities of this young man who is approaching Christ in asking this question. You see the first thing you see in him is he is eager. He's very eager. He's running towards Christ to ask him a question. The second thing you see is he is humble. He humbled himself in a way that he is kneeling before Christ to ask him this question. The third thing that you see in his life as he approaches Christ is that he is courageous. In front of all the people that who are there, there were fishermen, there were Gentiles, there were other people in the crowd. Being a rich man, he is running towards Christ to ask him a question. The fourth thing that you see is he is showing discernment and reverence, calling Jesus Christ good teacher. His faith was so strong, he is able to call Jesus Christ a good teacher. What am I supposed to do to inherit eternal life? The fifth thing that we see in him, the fifth quality that we see is he is having spiritual thirst. A young rich man, he approaches Jesus Christ with a priority in his life, trying to seek eternal life. And as we see in 21, Jesus Christ is answering his question, saying, he tells him, you have to follow the commandments. The rich man answers, I have been following it from my youth. But in verse 21, he says, You lack one more thing. Sell all your earthly treasures and follow me. When Jesus Christ says this, the young rich man in verse 22 is disheartened. He's sorrowful. He says to himself, and he leaves that place right immediately. His intentions were good. He came with a good priority. His intentions, he came with a good intention to seek eternal life. But then, when it comes to a prioritized thing, eternal life, his earthly treasures, he leaves that place. He doesn't want to follow Christ anymore. As we talk about priorities this evening, I wanted to talk to you about a real incident that happened in Germany. One of the greatest artists, Adolf Menzel, he started a painting, wanting to paint official Frederick when he was talking to his generals in the great assembly. When he started the painting, he started the officials, he drew the assembly that he was addressing to you, he drew every detail of it, but when it came to the priority that he wanted to the painting, drawing the official Frederick, he just drew a charcoal outline of his picture 
and left it so that he could finish later. And before he could even finish it, he died. He passed away. That was a half-finished painting, and it still hangs in Berlin, Germany, in an art gallery. In our lives, as we live as Christians, we are so much focused in Christ, but where are our priorities this evening? I want you to reflect this evening. I want you to marinate this, in you, this evening. Look at yourselves. Look at, let us look at ourselves, seeing what are our priorities this evening. Have you prioritized Christ so much? Or the earthly treasures, the earthly things that we see all around? If you're here, and you think your priorities have been good, you have, you have had good intentions, but you want to change your priorities because they are earthly. You might be baptized, or you might not be baptized, but if you're thinking you want to reprioritize things, if you want to seek back again, come as we stand and sing.